Thank you so much for tuning into her TV. I do want to talk about a few subjects, and it's obviously about Lil Wayne, the talk of the week. Actually, it's going to be the talk of the whole month, I think. So I want to go over that with his interview with Crown um, that he did with Elliot Wilson. Um, I do want to talk about um, Birdman and Lil Wayne's concert over at A3C. Um, so it's a, it was a mess. And then I also want to talk about um, Consequences consequences son Lil Caden um he's doing his own little covers for like Cop Shot the Kid and Nicki Minaj well he's getting known more to do the Nicki Minaj the remake of Nicki Minaj's um Barbie Dreams um but Caden's making one called Dream Nicki so um I also want to talk about albums of the week tastes of the week that is Mozzie's album called Game Land, Landlords, and T.I.'s Dime Trap. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so Lil Wayne, um, he inter got interviewed with Elliot Wilson over at Crown, and pretty much Elliot was asking him really good questions when it comes to, you know, who was on his album, Like Regine, how that song came about. Um, if you guys haven't already ordered title, you guys should, um, just to guys give you, you know, keep you on tabs of what albums are dropping and you know like interviews like this these kind um anyways he was also asking him questions about his mom and if he knew that his mom was on those tracks as much as he thought he knew of or he was aware of and he said that no he wasn't and um he said that he was actually shocked like everyone else that his mom was on the album as much as he thought like because I, I guess to him he thought she was only going to be like in the intro um, but she happened to be a lot involved in that album. And he said that once he caught up with the album a couple days ago, he went skateboarding and he was telling Elliot that when he was listening to his mom speak highly of him, um, once he started hearing her voice crack, he just like, you know, had to shut it off. He didn't want to hear it no more. It kind of was getting him emotional as well. So Elliot was just pretty much asking some dope ass questions like, he did a really good job asking him just pretty much everything that personally me that I wanted to know. Um, and then also, he does have the number one album on the Billboard charts, the 200, with the second, second largest streaming um, ever for an album. So that's really, really like good, especially that he hasn't came out for, well, what, for four or five years um, since the Carter 3. I'm sorry, Carter 4, sorry. Um, so that's really good to know and that makes me as a fan extremely excited for to even hear something like that I think his album did go gold um so yeah and then um Birdman and Lil Wayne obviously did a concert I think this past weekend but there was a shooting involved and the state of the culture actually were discussing this topic on their show and here's what they had to say Listen, and something happens to you, you call the cops. If you are street, live that gangster life, like certain things you just don't do. And let me clear up a common misconception. Civilians, if you happen to encounter somebody that will shoot you in the face, they're making the rules now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, media niggas do report on shit, and it's like, hey, the killers are at large still. The timing's weird. Like, Wayne drops an album, and then this is the next thing that follows the next week. I'm sure there were plenty of people that were benefiting from Wayne and Baby oh, not speaking. Damn, yeah. And now that they're speaking, Wayne put out an album. The album's selling. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember that case yeah, that you guys didn't have idea. any leads on? Here's a lead. There you exactly. go. Exactly. So do you guys agree with Joe Button, Remy Ma? I kind of agree with a little bit of both. Um, switching gears a little bit, I do want to talk about Consequences Son. His name is Caden. He is so cute. Um, I believe he's doing covers for, well, I think the first cover he did, the cover song he did was Nas's Cop Shot the Kid. He made his own version of it. And then he also made his own version from Nicki Minaj's um, Barbie Dreams. But his version is called Dream Nicki. He's actually confessing his love to her. It's so cute. I'll play a clip of it after this. And um, yeah, man, I do want to talk about um, Tastes of the Week albums that I've been listening to um, from Friday, which is Mozzie's um, Gainland Landlords um, and then T.I.'s Dime Trap. With Mozzie's, um, I did like his intro. I'm kind of weird like that. Like I like to listen to people, like to albums intros because I feel like the intro 
is preparing me to where the album is going to take me. So I'm very, I'm very like detailed when it comes to intros from albums. Weird, but that's how I am. And just again prepares me for what I'm going to pretty much get myself into when it comes to these albums. Um, but yeah, I did like the intro. Um, I did listen to. Um, so the intro was called No Way, and then um, one of mine's was the song After, and then um, the albums, and, and obviously the album included, you know, the top hit, which was Thug's Mansion, featuring Ty Dollar Sign and YG. And um, my favorite track from Mozzie's album, I would have to say it's called Black Hearted. It just pretty much speaks on losses of friends, family, questions of, you know, faith, questions is faith on God, um, where he came from, um, just pretty much not being blinded from, you know, other labels that were, you know, offering him deals. He wasn't just going to settle for less and um, just talking about um, just pretty much being his authentic self and um, one of the verses that grasped me a lot and did touch my heartstrings was um, lost the ones closest to me now I'm so, now I'm soul searching and I think that's one of the reasons why I this is my favorite track from the album um, if you guys haven't listened to it yet you guys need to I mean you guys have this whole week to listen to it and you guys can either agree with what I'm saying or I mean not but I strongly suggest you should definitely take your time and just listen to it. Um, it's a really good album, in my opinion. And followed by the T.I. Dime, uh, Dime Trap. That one, I feel like... The best way to describe this album, Dime Trap, is like if Lauryn Hill made an album in, of this day and age. Like if Lauryn Hill made a trap album, this would it probably would sound like. I do feel like T.I. dropped so many, like, so many d different types of jewels when it comes to, like, um, just dropping knowledge, dropping toughness, you know, being cold-hearted educational jewels for this younger era, my age, and also the older cats. But I feel like for the younger era, the only reason why I say the younger era is because if they really took the time to listen to this album, they would learn so much, so, so much when it comes to, you know, the music industry, you know, street-wise, book-wise, just, you know, having your mind be more knowledgeable within the government and what really happens within, it's more, it's more in-depth with what goes on in the streets or within the community. So I think that T.I. really dropped some educational jewels and you guys, again, need to take the time to listen to this album. This album is so, so dope. Um, but, and the reason why I'm saying it, it's, it's tracks like Looking Back, Light Day, and of course, You featuring uh, Tiana Taylor. So dope. Like, I think that's, the You track is the one that kind of makes me feel like I'm getting sort of like, this day and era, age, you know, just Lauryn Hill, Miss Education of Lauryn Hill vibes. Listen to the, these tracks and I'm telling you and you will understand. Um, but my favorite track from the album has to be At Least I Know. And it's featuring from, it's featuring Anderson Pack, And that's my favorite album just because obviously I'm a woman and it's really, really relatable. And, or for men too as well. But that's one of my favorite tracks from the album. Again, it's called At Least I Know. And I think that's it, guys. I think that's all. Um, so I wanted to share for today. It's kind of short. Thank you, Jesus, because I usually talk about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I need to tell you guys for now. These are the highlights. Again, um, don't be afraid to leave your, draw, uh, your thoughts and comments below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace, love, and hip-hop. Bye.